The most important thing, obviously, regarding anything you do in your life is your mindset. We're gonna learn something about ourselves, we're gonna learn something about how, you, how do you view the world. How you view the world absolutely and utterly shapes how you react to the world, how you act in the world, how people view you. It's all down to how you view things. There's very few things in this life we actually have any control over. I've lived an extreme life, more extreme than most. I've been a multimillionaire. I've been a nobody. I've been uh, famous. I've been a world level athlete. I've, I've started from nothing with a point where I had to run to the gym because I didn't even have a car to get there. I've done it all. So I've, I've, I've lived a very extreme life and this is where these lessons come from. I told everyone I'm gonna be world champion. Years before I even had a British title, before I even had an English title, I just started fighting. I was like, oh, I'm the next world champion. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just, I just started saying it, but I said it with genuine conviction. I knew I would be the best. Good shot there from Tate. He did save what the second round. And what a crunching shot. You have to understand that this world, everyone constantly tells you, do not be arrogant. Do not have an ego. People will constantly tell you to not talk in a way which is full of conviction. It, people do not like you to have, be arrogant and have an ego. This is the worst thing ever. Let me tell you a fact, number one facet of a G mindset. Your life is never gonna be worse if you walk through the world believing you are the fucking man. You wake up, you look in the mirror and go, I'm the, I'm, a, I'm the fucking man. I am the man. There's no one on this planet who can do shit I couldn't do if I put my mind to it. I don't give a fuck how good you are at piano. If I decide to play piano, I would be better than you at piano. And I believe that. I don't just say these things, I fucking believe them. And when you go through life believing you really, really are the man, you're gonna lose a few loser friends. Who cares? What you are gonna gain is other people on the same path. You're gonna gain other people who think, yeah, well, I'm the fucking man too. This guy's the man, let's make some money. That's what's gonna happen. You need to start believing you are the fucking man. Even if you're not the man yet, even before I was world champion, I knew I was gonna be the man. So I don't give a fuck. And I was happy to say that to anybody. When people called me arrogant and stupid and deluded, I'd just sit there and look at them and say, yeah, fuck you, I'm gonna be the man. G mindset. The first thing you have to believe you're the fucking man, you can achieve anything. I'm not saying you can achieve anything easily. I'm not saying it's not gonna take a whole bunch of work. I'm not saying it's gonna happen quickly, but you have to believe you can achieve anything. I'll tell you something now, I don't give a fuck if it's being an astronaut. I don't care about climbing Mount Everest. You give me enough time to train, I will get it done. I know that for a fact, because I know who I am as a man. You need to be perspicacious. You need to understand that in this world, there's a whole bunch of people doing amazing shit that you are not doing. And that needs to piss you off. Because if it pisses you off, you become motivated all of a sudden. I was the only one who was pissed off when that Aston Martin was next to me and I had my sales job. I was the only one who was pissed off when I saw that Ferrari drive past. Other people were not annoyed by it. And they're not annoyed by it. They're not driven to be it. You understand? They're not driven to be where that person was. I'm telling you to be angry. Anger is a fantastic force. You're a fucking man. You're a full grown man. It's perfectly fine for you to be pissed off. It's perfectly fine for you to look around at your life, look at the girl you're fucking, look at the house you live in, look at the car you drive, and get pissed off and go, you know what? I want a hotter bitch. I want a fucking nicer house. And I want a faster car. There's nothing wrong if you take that anger and you direct it in the correct direction. This is the reason I stopped fighting now. People go, why do you stop fighting us? Because I fought and I went through hell to get everything I now have. I had nothing when I fought. I had nothing. And I wanted the life I now have. Now I wake up in one of my three mansions with one of my seven supercars and one of my 15 women. What do I need to fight for? Like, people have different motivations for different things. There's some fighters out there who fight for other reasons, you know? But my motivation was I was pissed off at the world. Look around you and you don't own the home you're in, get pissed off. If there ain't a Ferrari on your drive, get pissed off. If you don't have 10 Playboy Bunny level beauties, get pissed off. You need to sit there and realize, whoa, 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 whoa. I have a few years of consciousness and even less than that, I have a few short years as a young man, because age will damage you. I mean, if you're a millionaire in your 60s, it's not nearly as good as being a millionaire at my age. You need to realize you've got a few short years as a young man, you're fucking wasting them. You need to sit there and go, fuck, shit, get angry. Because getting angry, forced, directed anger is an extremely powerful force. Nobody, absolutely nobody, gives a fuck about you as much as you're gonna have to give a fuck about yourself. Nobody cares about you as much as they need to care to fix your life. You are never gonna have any of the things you want if you do not get them yourself. The only person who gives a shit about your life truly is you. And if you don't give a shit, then you're fucked. You have to understand you are out here alone, absolutely alone. And when you understand these three things, you start to see how a mindset comes together. Nobody's gonna save you, you're fucked. It's totally down to you. You're pissed off with your current situation and you wanna change it. Plus, you believe you can do absolutely anything. 
This is how I thought at 18 years old. This is how I achieved so much in the short years. This is how I went from a nobody to a world level athlete and a multimillionaire. Because at a very young age, when I had my prime resource of energy and power at 18, 19 years old, I understood those three tenets. I believe I can do anything. I'm pissed off I don't have the life I want. And nobody else is going to give it to me. These are three things you need to understand. If any one of these elements is missing, you'll never have the right mindset. The G mindset will never formulate if any one of these elements is missing. All three are absolutely essential. And the sooner you get your act together, the sooner you start to panic and worry and be concerned that you're 24, 25, you're not fucking rich yet. There's 24 and 25 year olds out there who are multimillionaires fucking the hot models. These Instagram girls with 3 million followers, they're getting dicked by someone and it ain't you. And that needs to piss you off. You need to get concerned, you need to get worried, you need to, shit, I'm running out of time. You need to get some urgency in your life. So I became a sayer. So my brother said, you've become a sayer. And what that means is I made a pact to him that my word was unbreakable, strength and honor. And that if I said something, I meant it. So I'd wake up in the morning and I'd say to my brother, I'm doing a thousand press ups today. Once I said it, once I spoke it, it's like, like a genie, it became true. If I said I was gonna do a thousand press ups, I'd do them. Because if I didn't do them, I'd feel guilty within myself that I was the kind of person who talks shit. Because when you instill these mindsets, when, you're, when your mindset changes, you start to be extremely accountable for yourself. No one's coming to save you. You become extremely accountable. So when you realize that your word is one of the few things you have on this planet, if you say things, you're gonna start sticking to them. So then it becomes very easy to train. You say, I'm gonna train every day this week. I'm gonna train for two hours a day. As Soon as you set it, it's basically done. If I say something, it's basically done. It's, it's set in stone. And this is another thing you need to understand with the G mindset. You be very, very specific with what you say. Because if you instill your mindset correctly and you start to just say things, just start saying things. Then you hold yourself accountable. Say things you don't even think you want to do. Wake up and go up to your friend or your mom or whoever and say, you know what? I'm going to do a thousand push ups today. Say it to people. And they're going to say, no, you're not. So watch me. And then you have a choice. You're either going to succeed like a G or you're going to be a little pussy. And you're going to quit at 310 because it's hard. What kind of man are you? That's a decision you need to make. This is another facet of the G mindset. And your word has to be iron, unbreakable. You have to start meaning every word you speak. You say to someone, I'm gonna get rich. You better fucking do it. Otherwise you're a liar. You're a liar and you're a little bitch. You say, I'm gonna put some muscle on, you better fucking do it. You say, I'm gonna lift this weight, you better fucking do it. You say, I'm gonna go get this girl, you better go get her. You gotta be the kind of person who says things and means them. You promise a guy you're gonna whoop his ass, you better whoop his ass. 99% of the people out here talk shit. They say things they half mean or things they don't mean. If I say something, I fucking mean it. Once you implement that correctly, then you get the ability to motivate yourself to no end. You get unlimited motivation because all you have to do is find the energy to say it. It's literally that easy. This is the fourth tenet and one of the most important ones because that is the power to unlimited motivation. And that's the power to be taken seriously across all spheres of your life. Be specific with your language sound like simple things, but to implement them correctly, truly and correctly in your mind will change your entire view of the world. When you implement these four things correctly, when you say, if I say something, I'm going to do it, my word is iron willed. When you say that nobody is ever coming to save me ever. When you say that I'm pissed off, I don't have the life I want to have. And you couple that with, I believe I can do anything. If you truly believe all of these four things, it's going to change your entire view of this planet. When my from my most famous tweets when I said depression wasn't real. I was having arguments with all these people. And everyone's telling me how, how dangerous my mindset is. What is dangerous about believing that you control your own mind? Because if you implement the four things I've just told you, depression becomes, a, becomes garbage. Depression is not a thing anymore. Feeling depressed is real. You can be depressed with your situation, but believing you can fix it yourself is the important key. Sitting there believing that depression is some monster from the sky that strikes your brain and now you have no control over it and you must take pills every day is the absolute enemy to a G mindset. I don't give a fuck how depressing my situation. The only person who can change it is me. The only person who can change how I feel about my situation or try and affect the situation directly is me. Even if you put me in a situation I can't change, if you put me in jail and I'm depressed because I'm in jail, I still refuse to succumb to depression. I refuse to collapse mentally and give up. I know the only person who can control my mind is me. Nobody's coming to save me. No doctor with a pill is coming to save me. Depression isn't real. Depression is a state of mind designed to motivate you to find a life 
that doesn't depress you any further. That's all it is. Now you have to decide, are you man enough to go and get it done, or are you gonna sit around and cry? And depression in the Western world is to cure all, is to cure all excuse. This is what people are using. My life's shit because I'm depressed. No, you're depressed because your life is shit. It's the other way around, and you're refusing to acknowledge that, and you wanna sit there and live a shit life and pretend that some disease has struck you. And the reason you know that's bullshit, anyone out there who's depressed, I'll tell you something, you're not depressed, you're a coward. And the reason you're a coward is as follows. You desperately try to defend this crippling ailment you have because you're desperate to defend your excuse. If depression was really terrible, you wouldn't want to defend it. If depression was really so bad, and I'm telling you it's not real, and I know how to fix you, and if you implement a mindset like mine, you become immune to depression. If depression was so terrible, you'd listen to me and think, I need to try what this guy does. But instead, no, you don't want to do that. You want to call me names and sit and defend this ailment because you know it's garbage.